Hello everyone. Today we're going to do our next step in our self-portrait project. So you're going to get back your painted paper and we have two different types of tracers. They both make the same head, neck, and shoulder shape. So if you got this tracer, you would line up corners and edge along the bottom, just like this. If you happen to get this tracer, you'd want to look for this notch. That's going to go right along the edge of the paper so that the bottom lines up flat and this side is flat along this side. Okay, so either tracer works. You are going to so, so, so carefully trace your portrait really gently, not pushing hard with your pencil at all. There we go. Okay. Now our next step is drawing. So we need to draw our facial features. So eyes, nose, mouth to start with. And you'll notice how dark my line is. If you push hard with your pencil, you're going to get a really dark line. And that's going to be hard to erase. So try to draw really lightly. First, we're drawing eyes. Eyes do not go in your forehead. They go in the middle of your face and they are football shaped. So it's going to be rainbow, rainbow, smile, smile. Okay, and just try your best to get them as even as you can. The next step, big circle, touching the top and the bottom of the football and a little circle, which will be colored black. That's the pupil. To make it look more realistic, you can add another rainbow line above it for an eyelid, and you can throw on some eyelashes, okay? For the nose, we're just gonna keep it a few really simple lines. So coming down from the inside corners, we're gonna go little C, little C, like this, facing each other, and then in between, we're gonna draw a curve. All right, in this space below, we need to draw a smile. It could be a closed smile with lips, or it could be an open smile. So if it's open, it's two smile lines that touch at the corners. To do lips, it's curve out to make the bow, and then one on the bottom. Oh, I forgot to do my chin. Chin is gonna be a curve line, and I'm gonna to have to go down a little bit with my chin because I'm gonna run out of room. I should have done that before. Okay, and then I draw two lines on the sides. The corners of the smile get black. The teeth will be white. Okay, oh, I am missing some eyebrows, so I'll just draw the little curved line. Ears are gonna fall between the eyes and the mouth on either side. So you can draw ear, ear. Okay, now you'll notice if we were to rub, it's going to smudge and smear. So you want to be really careful not to smudge it. The next step is to take a permanent marker and we're going to trace out those pencil lines that we just drew. So I'm going to pause and trace those real quick. Okay. Um, while I have my Sharpie, I'm going to fill in my pupils with the black and the corners of my mouth. Okay, notice I didn't trace the head or the ears or the eyebrows. Next, you're going to get oil pastels to add color. So we're going to begin with white we need to color the whites of our eyes, which are the corners of our eyes. And you want to make sure that your oil pastel is clean. So you can kind of rub it off in the extra part of your paper. And color those corners in. Just to brighten them up. That way they're not skin color. That would look weird. Okay. And then you could use the white on your teeth as well. If you're missing any front teeth, you could black those out. Okay. 
some of the pencil is smudging a little bit, so it's kind of making the white darker. Then we're going to color the big circles. The big circles are your eye color. Trying to stay inside the lines. And if you want to, you can mix colors. Like if you have blue-green eyes, you could use blue and green together. Or if you have hazel eyes, which are kind of a green and a brown, you could use that. All right, just need to do my eyebrows. Your eyebrows should match your hair color. So brown hair gets brown eyebrows. There we go. Oh, I'm missing my lips. We do have pink and then we also have peach and red. You could blend a few different colors together. Like if the pink is too pinky, you could add some peach over it. But everybody has lips. You should include lips in your portrait. Okay, here we go. Next step is cutting out our portrait. Oh, one thing. With the oil pastel, you don't want to rub off the little balls that happen. You want to kind of shake them off instead. We don't want to do any smudging or smearing to make our skin tone messy. All right, so next step, we'll be cutting out your portrait. We want to cut it out as one continuous piece. So holding it by the edge, cutting around those ears so they don't fall off. Around the head. Okay. So we have a bald, naked portrait. Our next step is to glue it to our background paper. All right, with a clean white sheet of paper, Write your name on the back, and we're going to carefully glue it so it matches at the bottom. So take your glue bottle, make sure you can hear the air. We're going to just trace along the outside edge, just a light line. There we go, all the way around. Carefully flip it over. Line it up so the bottom corners match. Okay, this part you can press down with both hands. And then to do the face, just kind of go around the edges. Don't push down in the middle. There we go. All right, next we need to talk about hair. So before I show you how to paint hair, let's talk about hair color mixing. We're gonna get our skin colors back out again. To make blonde hair, you're gonna wanna use white and yellow because blonde is not bright yellow. So if we take a little white, add a little yellow, the more yellow you add, the brighter the blonde will be. If it's kind of um, like a darker blonde, you could make blonde and then add a little bit of brown. And that brown and yellow will kind of make a different type of a tan. If you have red hair, it's not this color red. It's usually a type of orange. So clean off my brush we're gonna take yellow and a little bit of red remember how strong the red is I think I'll need more yellow it's gonna overpower it so you might have a light red hair maybe where it's more like strawberry blonde and so then you might want to add some white to it you might have bright red hair so it's gonna be more of a brighter orange So a lot of the hair is gonna have that same skin tone like uh, process to it where we're mixing similar colors, okay? All right, brown hair, 
You could use a straight brown, but not everybody's brown is this brown. It might be brown with some of the yellow, like maybe it's a golden brown. It might be with some white, like maybe it's a really light brown. It might be a dark brown, so maybe it's brown plus black. Okay. There we go. And black hair is gonna be the easiest one because you just get to use black. All right, so that's the hair color options. Notice how I can kind of clean my brush off a little bit by wiping it. So I'm gonna go back to my portrait and I need to think about the shape of my hair and I'm gonna have you start in pencil first so it's safer. That way we can check. If you have very short hair, your hair should cover the top part of your head and it almost always comes down to your ears. So don't just do a little bit here. It needs to come all the way down to your ears and you need to pay attention to the texture. Like is it curly or is it spiky? And then if your hair is longer than your ear length, it's going to come past your ears. Maybe it comes to your chin length. Maybe it comes to your shoulders. Maybe it's going to be so long it goes all the way off the page. So I'm going to draw above my head a rainbow line headed down to both ears. And then mine is past my chin now. So I'm going to draw my line down to my chin and draw it back to the neck. So this is the space I need for my hair. So I'm going to start with brown. I'm going to try to stay off my face as much as I can. So my hair is straight. So I'm going to use straight, smooth brush strokes. If your hair is wavy, you might make your brush go like this. If your brush is, or if your hair is curly, you might make like little circles with your brush. So you want to think about how does your hair look, not only in color and length, but also how the hair is shaped. I'll go around my ears. If you get a little on your face, it's okay. Just do the best you can. I'm using kind of a big brush. You might use a smaller brush than me. There we go. Okay, next we're going to talk about clothing. For clothing, we can use some of these fun painted papers. And we really don't need very much. So I'm going to turn over it to the back and I'm gonna grab my tracer again. And I'm gonna move the tracer down a little bit and just kind of lightly trace the tracer, okay. So this is the space I have for my shirt. And what I want to do is I want to draw a curve here for the neck. Okay, and then this piece is going to get cut out. There we go. I'm going to turn it over. And let's line it up on my person. And then you'll glue that down. And for our final step, we're going to add in our background using the rest of our paint. So you can do a line background, you could do it one solid color. Um, be very careful about not getting paint on your person. And when you're done with your final project, it goes on the drying rack.